Hi, this is Jeremy Moskowitz, Group Policy MVP and founder of Policy Pack Software. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to use the in the box technique to export an existing start screen for Windows 10 and then uh, use Group Policy to ensure those settings. So here, um, this is a build, it's hard to see with this background, but it's 10159, which is, uh, we're just about to be released here for Windows 10. But this, uh, this version is the first version that I can tell that actually works with this thing I'm about to show you. I don't expect it to change uh, before Windows 10 goes gold. So if you're watching this video after Windows 10 is released, pretty sure what I'm about to show you should work just fine. So basically, as you can see here, I've created a couple of groups and the way you create groups is pretty simple. You can just simply drag and drop your icons and uh, once you've done that, you know, you can move them around and you can give a group name. I'll call this test group three. And you can see, I actually, whoops, I want to show you uh, what I've got here a little bit closer. You can see that I've got uh, these three test groups and in these three test groups, I actually have a couple of new style applications and old school applications. Like I've got uh, the weather app and I've got, for instance, the uh, WinZip, okay, an old Windows 32 app. So long story short is that once you've designed your, um, your start menu the way you want to, the next place you're gonna go before group policy is PowerShell, okay? And what you're looking to do is there's a, a command that called export layout okay in fact if we take a look at the command structure here it's pretty simple to use oops it's a uh, get help export start layout okay so basically it's pretty simple all you're going to do is do uh, export start layout uh, and then the path can be right here and I'll give it the string of um, uh, start 123.xml and that's it okay and if we take a look at what's going on inside this file if we take a look at start 123 what it's basically doing is an XML representation of all the stuff that's in here so if we take a look we'll see that there's um, um, I'm sure if I squint oh, there's WinZip I'll find it there and I'll see my other applications and so on and so forth what I'm going to do next is simply get this puppy over to my server. So net use star whack whack DC share here. And I'm going to copy start one, two, three over to my server. So now it's on a share on, it happens to be a domain controller. Okay. So start one, two, three is hanging out over there. So um, just to prove I'm not pulling a fast one on you here, let me go ahead and log off as West sales user one here. Okay. Let me show you and log on as West Sales user two. And what you'll see is that I don't have the same start menu right right yet, okay? So I'll, just to set the stage here, if I change user to West Sales user two, okay? He won't have the same start menu as West Sales user one right now, okay? Now let's take a look at his start menu. And you can see it's all clean and doesn't, you know, hasn't been affected yet. So I'm going to go ahead, <clears throat> excuse me, and log back off as this guy. I'll sign out as him. And now I'm going to use the group policy to set this up. So I'm going to go to my uh, West Sales users and I will force same win 10 start menu to these guys. All right. All right. And this guy is on user side. Uh, policies, admin templates, start menu, and it's uh, start layout. As you can see, this uh, value only works for Windows 10. So I'm going to go ahead and edit it. It'll be whack whack DC share um, start 123.xml. Let me just make sure that's exactly what the file name is, just so I don't make a mistake. Okay, yep, start 123.xml, very good. So that's it. So I'll go ahead and click OK here. Now the group policy is engaged. Okay, so now let's go ahead and log in as this guy. And what we're what we should see is that at this point, well, group policy has uh, done its thing. And let's do, oh, and sure enough, you can see the various test groups. And the other piece that's kind of neat about this is that group policy now won't let uh, anybody change anything. So you can't drag and drop icons, and you can see that it won't let you won't let you do that or do that. Um, so long story short, that's it. That's what you get out of the box. Um, and I hope this has been pretty helpful. So if you uh, uh, want to learn more about group policy with regards to Windows 10, well, 
That's where my training class comes in. So just come to gpanswers.com, find out where I'll be next, and hope to see you in my next training class. Thanks so much, and we'll talk to you soon.